SDR News coverage of Interop 2014 in Las Vegas features interviews with a number of Interop exhibitors, including this in-depth interview series, which was recorded and provided by HP. One of the ex really the exciting part of our announcement as well is the network optimizer. I mentioned that. And uh, so joining me here is Andrea Fornasarig. Andrea, thank you so much for joining us. And uh, so what he is a, a technical marketing engineer on the branch solutions. And so Andrea is going to talk a little bit about this SDN application for Link that we call Network Optimizer. So just to set the stage, again, kind of like what I did with Yarnine, I'll give you the high-level view and then let, let uh, Andrea go into some of the details. But basically what we've got here is sometimes when you have a Link conversation, whether it's desktop sharing, whether it's video, um, sometimes your performance and your your is not exactly what you'd want, and it, it might be choppy video or choppy audio, or you might have a desktop sharing that's very delayed, and someone's saying, "Oh, I'm on slide six, and you're seeing slide four. Well, we have built a an application along with Microsoft, and it actually leverages the Microsoft AP, Link API that we can get real time statistics, and we can actually manage the link conversation. Now the interesting part is link conversations are encrypted. So first of all, it's really hard for us to even be able to, uh, to, to be able to find the conversations because they are encrypted or identifying them on the network. And this is really the first time in the industry where the application can tell the network what it needs to be able to perform properly. So let me uh, turn it over to Andrea. Maybe you can talk a little bit more. And I know you're, this is basically when someone walks up, you're showing them, here's a demonstration with a couple people. So pretty much that's what we have. These uh, the three, as you said, the three main elements of the SDN architecture is really the infrastructure layer. We have a group of uh, switches, routers, or network devices that are open flow enabled, so they're going to be able to talk open flow. And uh, we have the SDN controller with a group of uh, API, it can be RESTful API or Java API. In this case, we we show the HP uh, uh, SDN solution for for Link specifically. So we have. Java API that pretty much you can download from the Microsoft website. And this API there are side on the controller. On top of that, we have the network optimizer application, which pretty much does uh, optimize the network, uh, link network traffic. And what we show customer here is our SDN controller. Uh, we have in here a group of apps. We have a network optimizer 104 that has just been released. And, and, and this is an app, by the way, uh, just to, to just to show, if you haven't seen our SDN controller, this is actually the interface. And Rob, I don't know if you can get uh, zoom in on the controller interface. I know it's going to be a little bit tough. But um, one thing just to point out is, this is our standard VAN SDN controller web interface, which is very nice. Now, you'll notice at the bottom here, and I'm going to point to it because you probably can't read it right now, but it says Net Optimizer Link. So this is actually running on our SDN controller. This is an application that sits natively on the controller, and it also makes it a lot easier because of those discussions between the controller and Link. So, sorry, I jumped in there, but just wanted to clarify that. Exactly. So, we have a group of uh, RESTful API that pretty much interface with third-party solutions. In this case, we have a Java API from Microsoft that interface with the Link application. So, we have a Net Optimizer Link app in here, and, uh, you know, as you said, we can configure the traffic when you go on the DSCP setting. So pretty much we, we change the value, DSCP value for each type of call. And matter of fact, when we, when we demo here, uh, customer, when we show, we simulate uh, user A trying to connect to uh, user B in here, try to initiate a desktop sharing, uh, sending the request, and the other user is going to accept the request for the desktop. And this is pretty much the user experience that some of the, the customer they're facing. Some of the users are facing. So you know, I'm trying to talk about slide one, and the other users don't even see the slide. So I'm going to keep talking and talking and say, oh, I'm not seeing the slide. Well, try to put in mute your call or stop the, the webcam. And it's really bad user experience. So what the network admin, network engineer does, simply go to the net optimizer, network optimizer app, and change the value, the SCP value. And over here, we have a desktop sharing. So we set the, uh, the SCP value for sharing app, and we put like a... Uh, 46 for example expedite forwarding we're gonna click apply operation succeeded and pretty much immediately because what it does is dynamically apply 
the rules to the to to the floor to the session. And as you can see, we can move the slides, and they are pretty much in sync. And the other beauty of this application is really the dashboard, where we can see number of sessions, eventually uh, licensed users, and uh, uh, active sessions, and some of the quality experience metrics, which is going to give you the good calls, uh, bad calls, and acceptable calls. So yeah, this is uh, actually what you just showed, Andrea, is really important also. Like, one of the things that people probably aren't really used to seeing or getting is quality of experience, MOS scores, and being able to actually find out you know, a lot of times the way they find out about how the quality of the calls is someone's calling IT screaming at them saying my audio is broken up. This is a way for, for IT administrators proactively to get a really good feel for how the link experience has been and to be able to do that. So this, this, uh, this one view here really shows a lot of different graphics and a lot of different things that really enable some amazing stuff for, from, a, from an IT administrator's viewpoint. To eventually troubleshoot or support the, the infrastructure, yes. So, is there anything else you want to show? Or that's pretty much. Okay, and and as you so just to summarize from a, what you did is you set the uh, DSCP marker up at forty six, which did uh, expedited forwarding. And we can actually change the DSCP value for each type of call. Yeah, so for each type. Uh, Okay. In this case, I forgot to put the mic in front of you, so say that one more time. So pretty much, yes, we, we can change the ACP uh, value mark point for each type of call. It can be voice, video, or uh, desktop sharing. And again, this one is specifically for link, you know? Okay. Yeah, that's awesome. And that's really, I think that, that viewpoint right there really captures or highlights the beauty of this whole application. It's just the idea that you can, you can specify exactly here <clears throat> what the DSCP or what the QoS setting is going to be, and now that that allows that anybody who's who's administering this to do it from one screen. I mean, if you had to do this in the in the old days, you were going to every switch, every you know, doing this all manually. This is one button click, and bam, it's configured, and that's OpenFlow that's allowing us to be able to push those flows Instead, each. Uh, you know, setting uh, static uh, ACL for QoS for traffic engineering at the switch level. Uh, this one here is going to apply uh, dynamically apply the, the QoS to the, to the session. Excellent. Well, Andrea, thank you so much. That was perfect. Thanks for uh, giving us a quick overview there.